Hello, hi YouTube. This is Neo Dro bringing you guys another video today, and this is actually a new video. It's an idea I've been kind of thinking of, um, but um, I wasn't sure what it when to do it. But I figured, eh, I'm I'm struggling with I'm still debating what deck I'm gonna run for tomorrow. But this can give me some ideas and maybe narrow stuff down. Um, this new episode, our new video s series, I'm gonna try and get started, is called "Let's Build a Deck with Neo Dreo, where I pick a deck. Uh, archetype or some sort of drives to try and build a deck around it um, and then some following videos will be deck testing of that um, or maybe I'll combine them all in one I haven't decided yet um, but this first one I'm gonna do is I decided on is ghost tricks all right ghost tricks yeah is a fairly new archetype they got a lot of stuff for them that are the stuff I mean they got the mansion which Causes forces both players to attack directly. They got a boss monster Xyz, which I think you need to run three of, and then their Dulahan, which is just so good. They have a trap card that lets you add, makes that protects your stuff. Another, again, more protection and more protection. So as you can see, like just with the rough draft, just using um the basic monsters i mean you can work on the numbers and stuff but basically three and three is i think pretty staple um just give you got plenty of options for days um you need three of the house you need three of the ghost trick vanish the scare and well they call it well on this they have it as roll shift but it's like uh, i forget the exact name but it's a really funny trap card um then for all the different monsters they got a wide variety of rank threes like Stein, which lets you add a Ghost Trick spell or trap card to your hand when it deals battle damage. Really good. Uh, you got Gianchi, which is a good effect. It lets you add a, when it does damage, or when it's placed to fight up, add one Ghost Trick monster whose level is less than or equal to the number of Ghost Trick monsters you control. So you can, it's pretty versatile. Um, so like two Gianchi. Um, you need one witch, which is a stun card. Or is that? Oh wait, 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 no, 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 not witch, not witch. Um, Yukiona, or yeah, Yukiona. Uh, you need a ghoul or two, because it's the what powers everything up. You need three lanterns, because he's a defender. You need specter at like two or three so let's sort this out so right now we're at 25 cards need mary's which a tutor which is a tutor for the deck special summoning um ghost trick monsters in face down defense position actually let's go and actually need three specters because it's the draw power it's a draw power for the deck let's see frost um when your opponent goes things, you can change the position of one. It, it, it's a way, a quick way of special summoning. Cat girl, which when your opponent um, normal summons or special summons a level four or higher monster, if, if you control another ghost trick monster, change that monster in the face down defense position. That's a really good tech card. Just play one of that. So right now we got multiple threes. Maybe work on a few more level twos. Let's see. Again, it's all like just player preference. Ghost Trick Witch. Once per turn, once per turn, you can target one face-up monster your opponent controls. Trains to admit face down defense position. That's really good. So I actually put that in there, and then you can put a few other cards that work with the work with the deck really well. Um, for example, Swords of not revealing light, but concealing light. Run that at three. Uh, let's see how many zombies are in here. Quite a few, I believe. Uh, Stein and Ghoul and Gianchi are all zombies. Wow! So the level threes are typically zombies. The ones are fiends, and the level twos are spellcasters. That's a really interesting deal. And they're all dark. So it does help to have a draw. Have a little bit of extra add power, so pot of two. Eh, if I can spell it right. 
And this is just, get, again, a rough draft build. Uh, Pot of Duality. A lure of darkness for the one of. And then that just still leaves two card space. Mind you, you can change some of the things around here. Maybe two, just run, yeah, two stunning. Um, let's see, book of life, tech one in, and then book of moon is good. And book of eclipse, which a lot of people seem to forget about. Let's see. Let's read just that. And then put this Book of Eclipse, which just allows me to take over my opponent's monster. Or just, again, saves. I mean, it's just a really, really good card. Um, like I said, this is just a rough draft. So I just see this so far. Um, now on to the extra deck Utopia. Utopia Roots, maybe one or two of them. Um, as far as some other rank ones, there's there are some other ones. But the odds are I'm not gonna not necessarily gonna have three of them on the field. But let's see, number and that folks is just there's a delay and stuff. Let's see. Well, unless the cards are in oh, yeah. Do, do, do. Here we go. Lionheart. Uh, and as far as some other rank threes you can make. Let's see. Zen. Zen names is always good. Uh, and just in case you banish stuff. Levier. And just throw another one in there. And then on top of that, if you have three of them, I would definitely say run down downer magician at three. I only have two, so I'm only gonna throw it in real life, so I only gotta throw two in there. So it means the extra one, the other Space would be for let's say Gachi. Actually, not take that one out. Die Gusto Phoenix. Let's sort. So, as you can see, even though they're not so necessarily going to get a lot of effects, like the way you would set up your side deck is more based on your meta, and there's a lot of choices you can do for that. I mean, at my locals, I have such a diverse thing. I have like all sorts of cards I do. But in the meantime, um, yeah, I hope you guys like this new video series. Um, let's see, let's I save it before I see sort and save. So I mean, yeah, the deck is, is it's just a rough draft. But I hope you guys like this new series of let's build a deck with Neo Dreo. Um, I hope to make more episodes of this where I just build a deck from scratch and. Then I'll test it out and see how it does. Um, I'm going to do some videos after this where I just deck test it and see how the deck does. Win or lose, I'm going to record it. And I hope things work out. All right, peace out, YouTube, and have a wonderful weekend. And remember, Yu-Gi-Oh! Days tomorrow. Make sure to check the Konami website to see if your locals are doing it. And if they are, go and participate if you're able to. All right, peace out, YouTube, and have a wonderful weekend.